Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. Last class we have seen what is a joiner transformation. So in this class, let's see some more uh, variations of that, some more options in that. So uh, like in database, we have Informatica also provides uh, several types of joins. So uh, the first one, the default one, which we have done is normal join, which is employee and department uh, getting joined with uh, normal join. And uh, so we have seen this uh, table has 107 records and this table has 27 records and the output is 106 records. So that is because one employee has department uh, ID is null. DEPT is null for one employee. So that did not come in the join. So uh, 107 records when they joined to 27 only 106 came out. So the same uh, set of source, uh, sources uh, if they are joined using master router uh, join so we have specified this as master and this as detail because employee is bigger and department is smaller number of records so suppose if we do master outer which means uh, all the records in detail will come so let's see how many records will come here and when we do a detail outer join how many records will come and when we do a full outer finally when we do a full outer how many records will come so there are four options for the types of joins in informatica so we can join these two sources using any of these uh, four methods so employee and department can be joined with either this or uh, either this option or full outer join so it is uh, i'll for each of these i'll show what is a database equivalent statement as well now since we have already j done normal outer join let's see how to do the same in the database start from hr dot employees e comma hr dot departments d where e dot department id equal to d dot department id this is the normal join which we have in the database so you can see only 106 records have come from here so this is what we have already done so let's see if we select master router join what is going to come so i simply come here to the joiner transformation and i select the type of join as master router so let's see how many records we are going to get with this so since I've selected the truncate target table option, only the latest run records will be there in the target table. So let me just refresh the mapping once and save this. So let's see how many records will come with master router join. So we got 107 records with master router. So in Informatica, master router means uh, everything on the detail table will come. So the detail table is employees. So everything from the employees table will come. So this uh, query, the if we want to write the equivalent query in the database, so we can write this way. Employees E left outer join HR dot departments D on E dot department ID equal to D dot department ID. So this remains the same and so we got 107 records and last time we have seen the record number employee with employee 178 has department id as null so for that nothing will come on the right side so this is called master outer join which means every record in the detail table will come detail source will come and only matching records from the master will come uh, so so we have completed this we got 107 records so now let's do the detail outer join how many records will come we'll see so i simply go back to my joiner transformation and declare this as detail outer and save this and refresh the mapping again and load this and save this and uh, make it valid and run this so now let's see how many records are going to come this time 
so uh, we will see how many records get loaded so we didn't get anything it failed for some reason let me check quickly okay it failed with an error that it cannot Im uh, insert null into employee ID uh, I have a constraint on the target table uh, I have a primary key which will create a constraint so let me drop that primary key we don't need it for this purpose so let I'm, I'm dropping the primary key and now running this again uh, we'll see how it goes how many records will get loaded into the employees table in the target so uh, it loaded 122 records this time into the employees table so we'll see what those records are so some of these uh, so how how did we get 122 some of these uh, because it's a detail outer join everything from master will come that means everything from department table will come so wherever department table has uh, records which are not matching to uh, any of the employees uh, no employee is there from the department we will get null values in the department in the employee side and we will get only a department name here so this query is equivalent to the database query uh, right outer join here if it is say right outer join e uh, right outer join on employee dot department id equal to department dot department id so this gives 122 records this is exactly the same uh, query equivalent of uh, the detail outer join in informatica joiner transformation so now let's quickly check full outer join in informatica so let me change the type of the join here to full outer join and see how many records will come so let me refresh this and run this again and see how many records I'm going to get here so we got 123 records uh, this time so that is same as so let's see what uh, those records are first uh, why we got 123 now uh, we will get uh, records from both the sides even though there is no matching record on the other side so let's see if department ID is null anywhere so already we know for 178 uh, employee ID uh, there is no department name because the department ID is null so we will get null values on the department side and for those departments which do not have any employees we get null values on the employee side so we the database equivalent of uh, the, the database query which is equivalent to this transformation in informatica is full outer join here so let's see how many records we will get here so this is 123 records so and another interesting thing to observe here is if we do a union uh, of these two queries the left outer join and the right outer join we will exactly get 123 records this is equivalent to the full outer join query so in this class we have seen various types of uh, joins informatica gives us in the next class we will see one more transformation